Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. This is going to be a quick read. This is going to be messages from spirit. So we'll do Aries to Pisces. You guys check the description box. All the important um, information you need is there. Not every message will resonate, especially in accordance to wherever you are, according to your timeline and your journey. Only take the messages that resonate. If they don't resonate now, I'll get you next time in your next video. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Give me clear on this messages for all signs. This is all the way from Aries to Pisces. Return to sender any and all negativity. No weapon that's woman against me shall prosper. Give me clear on this messages. Close on doors so no negativity sneaks in. And only the ones I've called to find are welcome here. My shade. So let's start with Aries. Okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? Aries. These messages are timeless, so whenever you see this, Aries. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? We have imagine in reverse. So you guys may not be using your imagination. Maybe you, your mind is running wild. Maybe you can't concentrate. Maybe you're, you keep thinking over and over and over again about what all the bad things that could go wrong, but not all the good things that could go right. Okay. Some of you might be needing to wear more blue. Imagine is the number 20. 20 breaks down to a two. So you probably, Maybe you or your person, you just don't believe in this connection. The number two could represent a connection. All right, let's see. The essential meaning of this card, imagine, it's turning imagination into manifestation, creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning imagery and, and feeling creativity and illusion so maybe you're not seeing something as clear you see the moon right here okay maybe your mind is playing tricks on you okay since it's in reverse i'll read the protection message so illusions and wishful thinking rooted in a sense of lack have entered your life now may be the time to see things as they truly are and not as you hoped or imagined they would be. Release any fear, then envision anew. Perhaps you are anticipating that something fearful might happen and recreating that image of disaster over and over again in your mind. The universe responds to such projections. So you are visualizing something bad happening when nothing bad will happen. The only reason why something bad will happen is because you keep thinking about it over and over and over again and manifesting the bad things to happen i picked up the tarot and the tower card is at the bottom aries like for real calm down chill chill maybe you're worried about this love offer you're worried about if they'll accept your love offer you're worried about so many things could be you could be dealing with a scorpio See things for what they really are, okay? Get out of your head as well. What messages do you have for Aries? Three of Cups. It has something to do with family, friends, or a relationship, a reunion, reconciliation. The star. You're wishing and hoping that things will heal. And you're fearful that they won't. Spirit is also telling you as well, don't trick yourself into thinking things were as good as they were. If they were not as good as you're romanticizing, don't try to pick this up where you left off. Don't keep beating a dead horse, okay? Strength. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo. We have the tower still at the bottom of the deck. It has something to do with love, something to do with a friendship, relationship. You're imagining the worst. I cut the deck and the death card is here. So I feel like you, Aries, there's something that you want. There's healing that you want. There's a newness that you want. There's some type of fame or recognition that you want with the star card. 
And you have to get out of your head and stop thinking that everything is going to go wrong and start visualizing everything that could go right, Aries. Spirit is saying, get out of your head because the universe is going to respond to this tower moment. So this is just a pre-warning for you. Stay positive, stay loving, stay in high vibration, okay? You could be dealing with an Aries, not Aries. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, or another Aries, okay? Moving on to Taurus. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? This is for Taurus. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? Okay, we have message in a bottle. Ooh. Then we have the face at the bottom of the deck. This is faded. You have a message coming. You're sending a message. Okay, make sure um, I hear, make sure you pay your phone bill. You might get a, an important phone call or an important email, but you make sure your phone bill is paid and you have enough data. Okay. Message in a bottle represents the number 15. 15 breaks down to the number six. Message in a bottle. The essential meaning of this card is communication, a sign, okay? Or a clint, a cledon, the ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker, pointing the way to your highest good. So there's a message or someone, something, a miracle or a symbol or a sign that's going to be delivering information, an important symbol or an important sign, okay? And it's in good intentions as well. All right. So let me see, which one do you want me to read? Let's read the Oracle's message because this is the message from Spirit. Spirit sends you signs when you ask for them. When you believe, you will receive them. Okay? Also, when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles, and omens. Yeah, Spirit was telling me, make sure you're not in your ego because your ego may try to misjudge the sign, symbol. Make sure you're open to receiving the symbol, sign, um for what it is okay they may come to you as a bird flying by or a logo on a truck and may even be a song on a radio expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction keep your ears open for someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your query today your message is spirit hears you and the reply is favorable. So spirit hears you. You're not alone. Spirit has not left you or abandoned you. Okay. Maybe you feel sad. You might need confirmation that this broken heart will heal. Okay, Taurus. What messages do you have for Taurus spirit? Seven of cups. You're confused. But spirit is going to send you these signs and symbols in different ways. Okay. So be open to it. Don't get confused. It's going to be made very clear, Taurus. It's going to be made very clear. So you won't be confused. The magician, yeah. And make sure... Make sure you're not tricking yourself. Because I'm getting kind of like a manipulative type of energy. So I feel like... You have to know that spirit hears you. And whatever answer it is that you need is favorable. I feel like this confusion is... You know how... You know how they the saying is the devil comes before the Lord does. So whatever confusing thing this is, remember, God is not the author of confusion. So if you're confused about it, it may not be of God or it may not be what it is that spirit has for you. So make sure you pray about it, sit and meditate on it. You don't have to jump into it either. Spirit isn't going to rush you. All right. Anything else for Taurus? Seven of Swords, exactly. Knight of Pentacles. 
what I say, take your time. You're not, spirit is not going to rush you. So whatever this is, don't trick yourself. The seven of swords, seven of cups, this is the author of confusion. Also spirit is saying, don't let your emotions get in the way. This is an emotional thing. I mean, not an emotional, don't let your emotions get in the way. This is a spiritual thing. A message in a bottle is a sign, a symbol. Spirit, spirit is delivering this. You will not be confused on what spirit is saying. Take your time. Take your time. Okay, you could be dealing with the Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, or any water sign, air sign. But spirit says they hear you. Okay, spirit hears you. Also, I hear you may be um, sitting by some water. Go sit by some water. I see the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Cups and Seven of Cups. Okay. All right. Moving on to Gemini. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini? power in reverse so maybe you are i feel like you feel like spirit betrayed you maybe there was an answer that you needed or maybe you wanted something in a certain amount of time and with the number four there may be some type of instability or maybe some type of cracking your foundation when it comes to your relationship with spirit your relationship with self or your relationship with whoever you believe in your foundation your um I hear your um, comfort zone, your sacred space with whoever, whatever it may be. Okay, the number four. Higher power. The essential meaning of this card is conscious contact with a higher power. The presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. But it is in reverse, so I will read the protection message. Gemini, now is the time to examine what you are giving your energy to. So maybe you might need to take back your energy, take back the time and effort you're putting into this situation, place, person, or thing. If you're obsessing about being right or about old resentments or failed expectations, maybe even about money, or about any other people, places, or things. These will be the source from which you create. So you're creating too much um, energy when it comes to obsessing over people, places, things of the past. Obsessing over something that may have failed. Maybe disappointment and things like that. Or any type of resentment. Spirit wants you to be your own source. Take heart for your higher power will never desert you. Okay, turn away from other sources of power that don't serve your highest good. So you've been obsessing about something over and over and over again in your mind. You've been thinking about it. You have a grudge. Yes, you do. You've been obsessing about it. Maybe possibly even, even um, planting bad seeds. The seven of pentacles is investing. So you've been investing your time in situations and things that don't serve your highest good, Gemini. Queen of Swords. Yeah, we see the King and Queen of Swords right here. And it could be a person. The Chariot. Spirit is saying move forward from this. Cut through any um, crap, okay? I feel like um, these people, this person, place, thing, situation that you've been obsessing about, I feel like they don't fuck with you as much as you fuck with them anyway. Spirit is saying stop giving all your time, energy, and effort in the people that don't do the same for you as well. To a source people who still can't make up their mind about you okay what else for gemini i feel like it could be another gemini a cancer or a libra or an aquarius we have a lot of air energy 
Ten of Cups, and your family as well. Look, Five of Wands. A lot of fighting. You've been putting your time, effort, attention into too much drama, too much chaos. Things that don't serve your highest good. Spirit is saying move forward from that and pull on your own personal power. You came out, so you definitely can. And I feel like this is confirmation for you to keep doing what you've been doing. Do you pull on your own personal power, keep moving forward, and cut through all this drama and BS because it doesn't serve your highest good. Okay? So, yes, you are on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing. messages do you have for cancer this is for cancer please spirit what messages do you have for cancer we have yang Yang is the masculine energy and it's reversed. So maybe there's some toxic masculinity going on. Maybe needing to pull on your feminine energy a little more. Or maybe with this Yang energy, I feel like some of you could be a little too feminine, a little too passive. Maybe Spirit is saying you need to get more active. You need to start relying on your personal power so you could be Gemini Cancer Cusp. Um, taking things into your own hands, okay? my book right here okay yang is the number one and the magician is the number one yeah i'm getting gemini energy where is this card give me a second y'all okay yang the essential meaning of this card is the masculine principle of movement and creative activity the power to make things happen taking action this card is in reverse so i'll read the protection message be mindful of the tendency toward imp impulsive action overconfidence and aggressive behavior yeah toxic masculinity so think before you act lest you find yourself in a situation that will lead to uncomfortable consequences uncomfortable consequences so just think before you act um don't be too cocky be mindful be humble okay so you're somebody is just being a little too um overbearing a little too impulsive things like that i'm getting aries energy as well be sure you really want what you're chasing after because you might be sorry when you get it be careful what you wish for the appearance of this card isn't cause for fear for life is all about learning lessons practice temperance diplomacy and thoughtful consideration before making a move so this is like the knight of wands type of energy somebody is impulsive to in and out kind of like the knight of swords as well i cut the deck and here's the knight of wands y'all won't believe this shit somebody could be dealing with the sagittarius somebody needs to think before they act or this is just what spirit is saying if you've learned this lesson already spirit is saying congratulations be a little be more tempered don't jump into things yeah, think before you act. Really take time to focus on what it is that you want. Be careful what you wish for because you will get it. So I said Aries, so I see Aries Pisces right here. Um, Earth as well. The death card. Be careful what you wish for because you will get it. Spirit is saying like being too impulsive might lead you into some situations that you might not even want to get yourself into and you're going to have to work twice as hard to get yourself out of that out of this right here so don't be too impulsive all right what else two pisces energies it's crazy we have aries and pisces alpha and omega yeah seven of swords don't trick yourself because this is a self-sabotaging type of energy to be in cancer there it comes and it could have something to do with the people you hang around wanting to be a people pleaser. 
King of Cups, and then the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands and the Emperor. I'm telling you, I'm getting Aries energy. I already, I already said that. I already called it. So what I'm seeing is, um, don't be too impulsive. Don't be too cocky. Somebody has a big ego. Somebody wants to walk around um, asking who got the bigger dick. I got the bigger dick. I can do this. I can do that. But really take some time out. Be more humble. Think before you act because you could get yourself in sit sticky situations that will leave you stressed. Really be careful of what you want. This isn't anything to be fearful of. But the card did say be tempered. Be patient. Take your time. Also, don't let people... Um, badger you what is that word called when people kind of like not peer pressure either they don't let people get you in situations that you really don't give a fuck about anyway just to prove a point okay then you won't have nobody to blame but yourself. I'm also getting the reason why somebody acts like this is because um, they're a man and they like men and they don't know how to cope with their sexuality. Okay, moving on. I'm done with cancer. Leo. Leo, please. No, okay. Sorry. Leo. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo? Thank you. You have message in a bottle as well. Just like Gemini. Okay. Number 15 breaks down to a six. The essential meaning of this card is communication. So you could you're receiving communication from spirit. Spirit is going to give you confirmation that they hear you. Your prayers have been heard. Your wishes have been heard. You're going to be receiving a sign. So a spontaneous delivery of this message. A spontaneous delivery of this sign. Okay. It's going to point the way to your highest good. The Oracle's message is spirit is going to be sending you a sign. Spirit is sending you signs when you ask for them. You will be receiving them if you believe that you'll be receiving them. When you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles, and omens, they may come to you as a bird flying by, as a logo on a truck or a song on the radio. So expect confirmation, Leo. So expect that you're going to be receiving confirmation and know that you're being pointed in the right direction. Keep your ears open for someone might say just the right thing. Okay? They're going to be giving you an answer in whatever it is that they're saying. Today is your message to know that spirit hears you and the reply is favorable upon you, Leo. This is for Leo. The nine of wands. Yeah, be open to this message though, Leo. Seven of Pentacles. You are open to it, but to almost to the point to where you've become stagnant waiting for this sign. You got to get out there and continue your life, Leo. You don't have to stop for spirit. Keep going. Spirit is going to spirit is going to deliver the message no matter what. OK, the family is good. Everything's going to be good. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, we have the hermit and the magician. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Somebody is going to be saying something. So as soon as you thought that things were still, as soon as you thought you weren't going to be receiving the sign, you get the sign. You get the symbol. You get the message. You, you get it. So you got to just continue living your life. Continue doing what you're doing. Okay. Grab the nine of wands. You're scared. You're not on the right path. You are Leo. Be confident. There's your sign right there, the Ace of Swords. The Hierophant. Yeah, and here you are, Leo. 
get out there do what you've been doing spirit is going to be delivering you a message it is favorable so whatever it is that you've been asking for i feel like spirit is granting it to you you're going to be receiving it through a sign a symbol or confirmation you will be receiving a message from spirit keep doing what you've been doing and be open to the message okay be open to what spirit is telling you i feel like a lot of you don't want to be open to what spirit is telling you because it may not be something you want to hear but it's something that you need it's something that you need leo you could be dealing with an aries leo sash leo strong taurus all right Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo? For Virgo, please. We have Milk and Honey Reverse. Then we have Mending Upright and then Yin. Uh, yin Reverse. Yin is the feminine energy. So... I'm not going to go too far into that, but with Yen being the feminine energy, I feel like you're, you, you lack being vulnerable, Virgo. You don't like to be vulnerable. And maybe, maybe you might need to be a little more feminine, a little more vulnerable, but let's see. You have milk and honey reverse. Number 15 breaks down to a, I'm sorry, that's 51. 51 breaks down to a six. is one of the last cards in the deck no mending is the last card in the deck so i feel like milk and honey the essential meaning of this card is the taste of prosperity opportunities born of authenticity nurturing abundance trusting that your needs will be met i feel like you may not be trusting that your needs will be met virgo I'll read the protection message since it is reverse. A nameless unease compels you to turn to pleasure and comfort as a means to escape what's really going on. So I feel like this is the seven of cups. You may be feeling some type of way and you want instant gratification. Um, you're turning to over eating, drinking, having sex, drugs, alcohol, or whatever it is to escape what's really going on. But this is saying you have to face your fears as well. The underlying issue is you needing to face your fears. And maybe that's where I'm getting you don't want to be vulnerable. You don't want to face your fears. You don't, you don't want to admit that something's wrong. Okay. So this works in the moment but only fleeting before the feeling before the feelings return and you need to re-up until you're exhausted feeling worse than before you may continue struggling virgo or you may see the light and choose to surrender to spirit now is the time for practicing extreme self-care if you can do so before you engage in behaviors you'll regret later you are so loved, so cared for, and feel love and compassion for yourself. Turn your troubles over to the divine for healing. That's all that counts right now. Virgo, now is the time for you to love on yourself, be good to yourself, be more vulnerable. Um, cast your cares on it's cast your cares on God. Leave leave your worries and your troubles at the altar because whatever it is you're turning to is not going to help you in the long run and you may regret it later. Okay. That instant gratification. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo? Nine of Swords still came out. You're worried and stressed about this already. I wonder if you see the bright light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe you're worried and stressed about a Leo. You're worried and stressed about the light, the truth coming out, needing to face your fears and admit what's really been going on. Okay. Oh my gosh, Virgo. 
What happened? Mm. I feel like the Virgos that I am talking to, bottle cups right here. You've already indulged. You've already got your instant gratification. And every time you did do it, it made you feel worse and worse and worse. I feel like this tower moment has already happened. But Spirit is saying there is still, um, what's that word called? You can still turn a new leaf, basically. You can still turn a new leaf right here and now. And just give it to Spirit. That's all that matters. Your past doesn't matter. Give it to God. This is like a coming to the altar type of reading, Virgo. Just to be honest, I don't know what you believe in, but Spirit is saying it don't matter what you did. It doesn't matter. Well, all that matters is just give it to God. Give it to Spirit. Don't keep holding on to this. I hear there's still redemption. You're feeling like you can't be redeemed. You can. Four of Swords. Yeah, just sit and pray and meditate. Take that time for yourself and love on yourself. Take that time to really love on yourself, nurture yourself. Focus on you. I'm read the card. I'm gonna read the card again. So a nameless unease compels you to turn to pleasure and comfort as means to escape what's really going on. So what's the nameless unease? Why are you so uneasy? Why do you? Why? What made you go to these instant gratifications in the first place? Maybe that's what you're beating yourself up about. Maybe that's what you keep asking yourself. Why did I even do this in the first place? How did I get myself into this? Spirit is saying, stop beating yourself up and start loving on yourself. Okay. Spirit is saying, try surrounding yourself with people who love you as well. Okay. You are loved and you are cared for. Feel the love and compassion for yourself. Turn your troubles over to the divine. Because that's all that counts right now. That's all that matters. Nothing else. Okay. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio and Leo are the only majors that came out. So just these half for Libra. Libra. Okay, you have regeneration and round and round. So maybe you keep um you keep bringing something back to life and it keeps ending. There's a lesson that needs to be learned, but I'm only gonna read regeneration. Regeneration is the number 46. 46 breaks down to a 10 completion. So maybe you're not letting something be complete. 46. All right, regeneration. The essential meaning of this card, rebirth, second chances, and new opportunities. Since it's upright, I'll read the Oracle's message. Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as a failure or a loss is now being replaced by something better or more powerful growing in its place. So you have to let, so this regeneration is just like the death card. Something ends and something new, even better begins. I feel like that round and round is something keeps ending and it keeps picking up as the same old thing. It's not being better. It's not being renewed. It's not transforming. So this go round and this regeneration, I feel like spirit is saying, let it be new. Let it be something even more powerful in it, in whatever in whatever was supposed to have in, okay? The rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways, okay? All 
right, Libra. The Wheel of Fortune, here it is. Something being changed. The star, oh my goodness, beautiful energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Aquarius. Oh my goodness. Libra, you had to, got the best reading at this, this far. So Spirit is saying yes. Yes, your new life. Yes, regeneration. Yes, it's going to be even more better, even more powerful, whether it's love you want, um, some sort of fame or what it doesn't have to be fame, but any type of healing, the positive will is turning in your favor as well. Here's the devil behind that offer. And then remember, this is what I've been talking about. Spirit is saying, yes, there's chance for new possibility, but don't keep the same toxic cycle going over and over again in the toxic cycle and let it be even better. Let it be something new, something different, something positive this time. But it's beautiful. I do see spirit is giving you another go. Another go at it, Libra. So what will you do? It's in your hands, Libra. I feel like spirit keeps letting you get a redo so you can finally learn and stop letting the toxicity come back in. Okay. Scorpio. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Yen reversed. So I feel like you, Yen is a feminine energy supposed to be receiving, supposed to let things come supposed to be vulnerable all right yen represents the number two the essential meaning of this card is the feminine principle of receptivity letting someone else make the first move gathering information and taking in cues the art of conscious allowing so you might not be allowing something i'll read the protection message since it is reversed scorpio this is supposed to be for scorpio Okay, Scorpio, do you have trouble receiving? You stop the flow of abundance when you can continuously insist upon being the giver. Stop being the giver. Start being the receiver. You can't always lead. You can't always give. You can't always teach. You must be the student, the open vessel, and the one who receives the gifts, receives the gestures, and receives the offer in equal measure. Open up and let love life abundance and spirit fill you without demand or expectation just receive the bounty that is yours just receive okay you always trying to do it you always trying to be the one to get up and do it no be the receiver be receptive Okay, page of wands. So you're always the one to reach out first. You're always the one to give the love offers. It's time for you to be receiving the messages, receiving the love offers. Yep, here you go. You're the giver. Time for you to be the receiver because you're stopping the flow of receiving. Just receive love. You're too, you're too worried about you said, I feel like there's a control thing going on with you, Scorpio. You need to control the situation. You need to, um, I saw the emperor. Where is he? You feel like you need to control the situation. You feel like it's not going to be done right if you don't do it yourself. You have to be the one to initiate. You have to be the one to send the text. You have to be the one to get the ball rolling. No, stop doing that. You should be the receiver. Yeah, you're stopping the flow of what spirit is trying to give you. All right. 
that mean? That also means you're putting too much time, effort, and energy in things that aren't giving to you because you're too busy trying to give. You're too busy trying to get the ball rolling. You're too busy trying to get a response, get an answer, get energy from these things. Okay. So remember, Scorpio, ask yourself, do you have a problem with receiving? Are you having a problem with receiving? You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with anybody. Sagittarius. Never ending story, Sag. That card jumped out before I could even shuffle. Number 37 breaks down to a 10. Endings. Finality. Thirty-seven, never-ending story. The essential meaning of this card is self-criticism, the wounded ego, and unnecessary dramas. So you're self-criticizing, your ego may be wounded, and you're getting yourself in unnecessary dramas. Sagittarius, there is a story woven through the imperfect fabric of life, and it tells you all about hurt and loss and rejection and humiliation, self-loathing and arrogance. And all manner of suffering born of unnecessary drama. So you're getting yourself in unnecessary things, unnecessary situations. Okay? It is an old story. Okay? It's old. It's outdated. Time to stop putting yourself through it. Okay? Today, know that none of this is actually true. The drama that you're telling yourself that you need to get into the lies that you're telling yourself to get through the day or to cope, leave that alone. Nothing is true. The sky is not falling, okay? The voice you hear is just a small, scared, conditioned part of you that got stuck in a lie. You're telling yourself the same story. You want to protect yourself, and you feel like you need to be seen as the victim, okay? You got to love that part of yourself. Love that lost pieces of you. Fear is all that it knows, so it doesn't know the loving part. It doesn't know that everything's going to be okay. It's scared. It it feels like it needs to protect you. It's telling you that the sky is falling down when it's really not. It's making these things up. It's, it's over dramatic, a little melodramatic, but that's okay. Even that part of you needs to be loved too. So don't turn away from that part of yourself. Don't try to sweep that part of yourself under a rug either. Love yourself. That part of you is still you and it needs to be nurtured, okay? Distorted guidance is preventing you from being your true self. You are not your story. And the narrator is simply the voice of your fearful part, small and vulnerable and easily soothed. Easily soothed. You can easily stop telling yourself this story, easily get out of feeling this way, easily stop um, putting yourself through unnecessary things, people, relationships, situations, okay? When is the story going to end? This is you, Sagittarius. Impulsive. Time to get grounded and stable and be fair. Okay, Sag. You could be dealing with a Libra, Virgo, or another Sagittarius. There you go. Be patient. Be nurturing and kind to yourself. Okay, I feel like this dramatic part of yourself is your childish part of yourself and it could get you in situations and telling you that the sky is falling down and telling you all types of dramatic things that aren't true, okay? Time to stop doing that to yourself. Let yourself be happy. Let yourself be at peace. Okay? The devil is not stronger than this angel at all the temperance or stronger than this justice time to go ahead and face your fears face your fears Sagittarius that's what spirit is saying face your fears and finally end the story end the cycle it's time yeah walk away it's time it's time to have faith the wheel is turning see that 
time to release these burdens and let go of this fear. You could be dealing with a Taurus, another um, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Libra. Okay, everything is fine. Everything is as it should be. The sky is not falling. Capricorn. Okay. Capricorn. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? What is that? You have two coming out in between worlds and no place like home reverse. So I feel like you're feeling misplaced. I feel like, cause these are the only two cards that for some reason, no, this one too. A couple of them are reversed. Why are these reversed like this? I don't know. So some of you could be feeling misplaced, a little complacent as well, wanting to get out of whatever you're in, needing to trust spirit and find your um find your purpose what is going on there we go chaos and conflict still still kind of what i've been picking up chaos and conflict represents the number 33 33 represents six Okay, chaos and conflict. The essential meaning of this card is disarray, being at a cross purposes, crossroads with yourself, with spirit, with one another. The tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. So this is basically saying things are falling into place, let the chips fall. It may look like disorder, but just like when you clean up your room, clean out your closet, you pull those things out, it looks crazy dramatic and chaotic but when you finally get things organized it starts to get better so go with the flow the oracle's message opposing forces come together to create turbulent atmosphere but consider the value of chaos that serves you well as you become unmoored by it scattered to the winds you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need just like cleaning out your closet, that stuff you don't need, stuff you ain't even touched all year. Okay, this is a good thing. You're getting rid of things that you don't need and parts of yourself that no longer assist in your soul's growth. Okay, no longer needing the dispersed seeds to reinvent yourself anew. So what this is basically saying is reinvent yourself as well. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal, projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at a cross purposes with someone else, facing a storm you feel you can't control. Yet every storm passes and chaos leads to reordering of things. So this is also saying um, if you are at a crossroads with somebody, this may be a good thing for you two to talk it out this is also saying be mature and being able to talk this out regardless of you two come together or decide to mutually separate whatever it is this chaos is opening a door for you to reinvent yourself opening a door for you to have this talk opening a door for you to make things right opening a door for you to practice your maturity okay conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Also, pick your battles as well. This is also, this is a lot of messages in one. Learn how to pick your battles. Be mature in whatever opposing forces this is, okay? This is letting you see different sides of a situation, letting you reinvent yourself. This chaos is helping you in a lot of, a lot of different ways. Who the hell is this? Capricorn. This is Capricorn. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, helping you be fair, be just, figure out what to put your time, effort, and attention into. Queen of Wands, okay. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag, or another Earth sign, a Capricorn, or a Taurus. King of Wands, wow, the King and Queen of Wands, look at this. You both aren't looking at each other, so I feel like you two are marrying each other. You both are not looking at each other. 
You and this person could be a job, place, situation, whatever, but I'm going to read it as a person. You and this person, you may not be agreeing at this time. You may feel like they're not giving enough. They may feel like you're not giving enough. But either way it goes, this chaos is going to help bring you two together to try to work this out. Okay? This is definitely a relationship. The king and queen of wands. All right. What else for Capricorn? Death. There may have been an ending or a breakup. But I feel like this chaos is going to help you, whatever it is you salvage, let the chips fall as they may. See both sides of the situation, what part you played in this. I cut the deck and it's the two of cups. You still love this person. You still want to work this out. So spirit is opening a door, giving you an opportunity to talk this out, fix this, make this right, or come to some type of common ground. Okay? Y'all the only one to get a damn relationship read out of a spirit message. If you guys aren't in a relationship, this is also just saying whatever is opposing you, there's going to be a door open to get on common ground, okay? Maybe you are being one-sided. Maybe something else, someone else is being one-sided. Moving on to Aquarius. No place like home upright. Number 50 breaks down to a five. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. No place like home. The essential meaning of this card is authenticity, coming home to yourself, feeling at home, arriving at a place where you just fit. Being comfortable in your own skin. So authenticity, loving yourself, feeling like you belong, like you fit in, and really um, just meshing and molding in this area or with these people. Okay. The essential meaning of this card, I don't know why I closed this book. I already told you the essential meaning is feeling at home, authenticity, loving yourself. The Oracle's message is home feels safe and secure. It's a comfortable place to rest and create a place that is known and you can call yours. This card signals that your ability to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin is beginning to solidify as you claim your dignity and integrity. So I'm feeling like you may have been feeling out of out of body lately. Because of a relationship, person, job, place, you may have been feeling like you're not home, feeling like you're an outcast, feeling ostracized, doing things that you normally wouldn't do, hanging out with people you normally wouldn't hang out with. And if you haven't been doing that, Spirit is saying continue to not do that because you're basically solidifying your foundation and solidifying that you are good here so you don't have to wander so you don't have to stray so you don't have to look over the fence so you don't always have to feel like what um so you don't always have to feel like you're missing out on something when you're not this is where it is this is where the party is right here okay aquarius so this is just ba just basically saying the ability to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin is beginning to solidify as you claim your dignity and your integrity aspects of yourself no one can take away from you so no one can take away your dignity no one can take away your integrity and if they did they can't anymore because you come back to yourself okay you know who you are spirit is saying know who you are aquarius you hold your head high yet neither pride nor humility Okay, so you hold your head high, not because you're prideful or not because you're too humble. It's because you are who you are. You're holding your head high, Aquarius. Okay, instead, you stand as the observer seeing through the eyes of your soul. This puts you in a position of power and strength, being authentic and looking through your soul's eyes. Authenticity is your home. You are safe here. 
in the house of your spirit and with spirit. Okay. Yeah, you see clearly now. I hear you got your you got your crown back. You got your integrity back. Okay. And I'll ta I'll be taking my crown back. Yeah, I'll be I'll be taking my throne back. You see through your soul's eye, you see beyond what's what's right in front of you. You see what's right in front of you, you realize things for what they are, but you see it on a whole different level your soul through your soul the food you're taking a leap of faith okay you're trusting yourself trusting your intuition you're you're authentic you love yourself you know who you are you don't you don't search for answers wondering who am i who am i not anymore yeah, because when you did that, it was just a self-sabotage thing. It was just an instant gratification, selfish, prideful type of thing. You're not doing that anymore. Spirit is saying, don't do that. Okay? Be home. Be where you are. Love yourself. Be authentic. Fit in with yourself. You don't have to fit in with the crowd. Fit in with yourself. Be comfortable in your own skin, Aquarius. Okay? When you act in an authentic way, you command the whole world to reflect back to you exactly what it is in your highest good. When you don't act in an authentic way, you're reflecting spirit to give you things that aren't authentic too. So don't do that. All right? Be authentic, love yourself, be comfortable in your own skin. Get what it is you deserve because you are fully yourself, radically accepting everything in your journey, accepting yourself, okay? Accepting your successes, accepting your failures, okay? Abundance is natural and it's progressing in your life. Just do you, be you. You could be dealing with an Aries, Pisces, another Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, okay? but not least Pisces. That is. A leg up, Pisces. Beautiful. 34 breaks down to a 7. A leg up, Pisces. The essential meaning of this card is you will be receiving help Delegating authority, inter independence. Okay, so the essential this card represents you've come to a point where you're going, where you are going it alone, and no longer op, it's no longer optimal for you. Life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align with you, who can give you a leg up during this next phase in your journey. So maybe you've been. Maybe you've been by yourself for a little while. Spirit is saying, okay, I'm going to put somebody in in your corner, somebody in to help you. So also, I'm getting another message. You know, sometimes the people who come in to help you, they can either be lifelong friends or they can be there for a season just as well. So make sure you're ready for whatever relationship this is with this person helping you because it could just be you could be learning lessons with this person, just getting help from this person. They could be in and out just like that, okay? Help comes to you in all the areas of your life where you need a boost. So where do you need a boost in your life? Because that's where spirit is sending you a boost. The trick is to accept the aid so freely given when you embrace inner independence, allowing teamwork and independence to co-mingle, miracles happen. Now is such a time. So be accepting of the help. Be open to the help. Don't be too prideful lovingly accept the support from others it could be from someone younger than you and aquarius libra or gemini somebody is giving you information Ooh, in regard to love someone is coming to help you give you a pick me up in regard to your heart your emotions it's in regard to love 
Be patient. <laughs> this is beautiful. You can be done with the Sagittarius. Two of Pentacles. We have two twos here. So I feel like you may not be open to it or the help that you're receiving. You're confused about it. Will you accept their help? It, it has something to do with the Sagittarius. And it also has something to do with the control or independence that you want to have. Stop being like that, Pisces. Be open to accept support. Be open to receiving love. Be open to receiving this help. And you don't have to be um, too prideful about it. And you receiving help doesn't mean you're weak as well. You're not weak. This does You receiving this help doesn't reflect anything negative on you anyway. You should think of it as in spirit loves you so much. Right? So here's the truth. This is going to get you out of what out of your head as well spirit is like stop thinking like that pisces we love you we're here to help you you need help in this area okay we want you to get out of your head or get out of feeling like you're trapped get out of feeling like you can't move forward because you can be be at peace so i feel like somebody is coming to be your peace pisces somebody's coming to give you good news pisces I feel like also if you will be in a relationship, I feel like this relationship is a pick-me-up relationship. Sometimes that happens. So this person is an experience to show you, yes, there is good. This person is an experience to get you back into a positive alignment, Pisces. So spirit is definitely giving you a leg up. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or an Aries. But spirit is like... Just trying to help you with your heart, help you with your love. So maybe do some heart chakra work as well. What number is this? 34. I'm going to read this card again. A leg up. You're receiving help, de delegating authority, enter independence. So also, this is also saying enter independence and delegating authority being, um, being able to be submissive as well allowing someone to help you that not bowing down but kind of like giving someone else the authority as well letting them drive you can't be the driver all the time spirit is saying let someone else drive sometimes pisces <laughs> so this is beautiful energy spirit is really trying to help you they really are okay uh, spirit is saying you've been alone uh, long enough let me let me let this person help you. Let this person give you some advice. You know, tell this person what's been going on. They might have better advice than you may have even realized. Eight of Wands. So this, part, so we have two eights and two twos. It's synchronicity right here. Okay. All right. So help comes to you in all the areas of your life where you need it the most. Where do you need a boost? And see for what it is that spirit is doing where you're getting the help also i'm getting a don't be ungrateful because you've probably been asking spirit for one thing but you really need help in something else so spirit is going to help you with that other thing okay this is all i have for you guys um pisces you can be dealing with an aries sagittarius like i said gemini libra aquarius but other than that this is all i have for you pisces i will do a collective message and close this reading spirit what messages do you have for the collective Thank you. Okay, fork in the road, collective. So you have, you're being presented with yet another road to choose from. Number 13 represents four. Breaks down to a four, I mean. Mm. Okay. So the essential meaning of this card, collective, it's fork in the road, and it represents the time to make a decision. Considering the consequences as you prepare to act, owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice. This is necessary. The choice must be made. A decision has to be made. Considering the consequences before you make the decision. Okay? Get prepared. Get prepared. Now, sooner rather than later. Every choice has a consequence collective. You've arrived to a fork in the road and you are being asked to come to a decision. Will you further your dreams by choosing left or by choosing right? Will you take the road less traveled or the one well-worn by others who have come before you? 
This is your choice collective and yours alone to make. Circumstances and other people will not make it for you. Be present and do not avoid this junction for it is an important crossroads. Take heart collective as no matter which path you choose, you will have a rich and meaningful experience. So don't be afraid to make this choice. Don't be afraid to go down the path that you're going to go down. Just know that every decision does have a consequence. But shit, you can handle it. Take it by the horns, collective. Don't be afraid. Everyone comes to... Um, everyone comes to this... Wow this juncture in their life everyone has to make a decision everyone has crossroads to choose from and some of yours could be marriage some of yours could be um being a wife some of yours could be being a mother will you be a businesswoman or a mother will you be a businesswoman or a wife will you um will you be an entrepreneur or will you continue to work in nine to five Will you stay at an entry level or will you go ahead and get your expert level? Will you get your doctorates? Will you get your bachelor's? You know, something like that. Have the strength to do it because it don't, what the card said, spirit said, no matter what road you choose, it's going to be a meaningful journey. So don't be afraid. There's going to be a lot of um, good things, collective. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Spirit is saying, don't be afraid to make this decision. You've been contemplating this, Four of Cups. You've been contemplating it for a while. Be strong, make your decision, be happy about it, accept the consequences, and do you. You can't stay uh, in that area forever. Give me some advice from my collective, and we'll close the reading. Ooh. Can you give me some advice from my collective on this crossroad? Can you help them? This is beautiful. Okay. Recognition. Okay. Clarify recognition. Recognition and friendship. Okay. So maybe some of you don't want to end in, end a friendship. Maybe some of you want to start a friendship. Maybe some of you um, are wondering if you lose people on this road that you're taking. Maybe some of you are like, I don't want to lose my friends. I'm good here. Um, I'm a pre And some of you could honestly hinder and stifle yourselves because you don't want to move forward because you're comfortable in the place that you're in. Recognize that you'll make more friends along the way. I'm not saying burn your bridges, but make this decision, this fork in the road, move forward pray about it you can do it you have the strength to do it spirit has your back that's why the card came out in the first place you can be dealing with a leo gemini libra this is all i have for you guys i love you all don't forget to like share subscribe check the description box leave me a comment let me know how it resonates you can book a personal reading with me you can donate to the channel by Cash up, PayPal, or Zelle. Until I see you guys again, y'all be safe. I love y'all. Check out all of your other All Signs readings. I'm going to put that in the description box and the comment section. I love y'all. Bye-bye.